Hello guys, I bought this um, heatsink for the M2 SSD drive. Um, here's the box from J. Comes in this box. Um, has a little uh, warranty card or something, a certificate. So uh, here's the heatsink. I bought the red color. He has pre-drilled uh, holes for the screw with thread on both sides, three, and this little. Uh, space here uh, cut out for the screw that you uh, secured on the motherboard. It comes with this back plate. Looks nice, pretty skinny. So you'll put your SSD inside and then you'll um, cover it and screw it. So it's kind of nice. And it comes with all this uh, six, six, seven screws in a tiny little screwdriver and then it comes with a one two three four five um, these are um, uh, heat transfer pads I got my SSD out from my um, PC so um, we're gonna give it a try and see how this will work Something like this. All right. So about this, this much out, so we have enough space to hold it just like this. So as you can see, you want to put it flush on this side and that space is just enough for you to be able to secure it. So you don't want to put it too much like this because you won't be able to secure it down but you want it to put it flush. So the size is about right. Now uh, when you insert it in the socket in the plastic, the plastic socket, the end of it comes straight here so the size is perfect. It's made from from this corner yep until this so the size is perfect and we have plenty of space um, I will go ahead take it out I'll remove this so I'll go ahead and use the two skinnier pads All right so this is pretty clean it's okay so we're gonna remove one film and apply it here so you want it, the edge to be on this all the way flush like that and then hmm, I wonder if we're gonna have to cut a little bit because it's too it's a little bit too long but uh, let's give it a try so we're gonna put the SSD flush Actually, you don't need to cut it, as you can see, um, it's still coming out a little bit, so it's good. And this side is flush, so you'll not, you won't need it. To, you won't need to cut that. Those pads, they're fine like that. So let's go ahead and remove. I don't know if I should remove this um, labels. Um, I guess this one is an aluminum. I can, or copper I can see it's shining on the edges so I don't think I should be removing that one it's fine but I'll leave it on this time I'll do some tests see how the temperature goes but I think they should be fine with it now let's remove the other film on this side and just peel it off so remember this the screw opening here and this side don't put it other, the other way around so just put it this side flash flush on that side and take another one peel it one side and again put it flush on this side just like that and then peel it off Like this. 
we'll take this so again the opening on this side needs to be on that side it just slides in place because he has this um, sides specifically so there you go actually he needs to go a little bit and there you go now is in place yeah So you want to make sure the edge of the heat uh, sink is on the edge with your SSD. But um, because when you're going to push it inside in the socket, you might, um, you might not be able to push it all the way because of the heat sink coming out. So this is perfect. I think I'll still be able to secure the even though. We'll give it a try. So then you take your screws. So let's use this tiny little screwdriver, I guess, the one they provided. So you're just gonna screw it in each hole just enough. That way you want to make sure all those pads are really tight. Alright, and that's how it looks like. Looks nice. This will just uh, absorb some of the heat. Alright, that's it. And I'll be um, installing it back in my computer. I will be going installing my SSD right in this spot. So it's pretty simple. I got my... Uh, screwdriver and uh, the screw attached because it's magnetic so I'm not gonna touch anything so here's the the drive now where you want usually you just um, under angled about 10 degrees you carefully slide it inside and then push it until you hear a click that's it so it, it just won't go further so I got my uh, magnetic screwdriver and then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna carefully screw it back make sure you screw it straight if you can get it the screw in the in the tread right away just turn it counterclockwise for a few times until uh, the tread is gonna um, find its way and then screw it back clockwise to tighten it You don't have to tighten it really hard, just enough. Alright guys, so here is our result, 14 degrees Celsius difference, and I highly recommend this heatsink for everyone. Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe and hit the like button, thank you!